In the final days of Women's History Month, Denver police are honoring one of the first female officers to protect our streets. She was determined to prove women could do that job just as well as men. And what an incredible career she had. CBS 4's Karen Morford joins us live with more on Detective Gail Rydell. Karen, until 1972, women couldn't even patrol the streets. Detective Rydell was one of the first. Some of that history is now on display here at police headquarters as she is set to be honored. For Gail Rydell, a career in law enforcement wasn't really part of her plan. A guy friend of hers said, oh, women wouldn't really succeed in law enforcement. They're just not cut out for it. And, and so she just joined the police academy. Um, on a dare, basically. Her daughter Molly says that dare led her mother to a 30-year career with the Denver Police Department. She was really naturally good at it. Rydell signed on as a police officer in 1969, only the second class of recruits to include women. Some of their initial uniforms were just skirts and really impractical. Her daughter says her mother's ability to connect with people often meant criminals would share the how and why behind their crimes making Rydell an expert in theft prevention. We'd be out shopping in public and this big guy would tell me, oh, your mom's so smart and such a class act. And she just, I really respect her. She's a, a great lady. And I would find out later it was someone she arrested multiple times. She would quickly climb the ranks to detective. Today, Lieutenant Michelle Fulmer says Rydell was more than a trailblazer. She was really a groundbreaker. There wasn't a trail then. She was Fulmer the says thanks to women like Rydell, today every officer is on even ground. There is no, you know, patrol woman on the badge or patrol man on the badge anymore. It's, it's officer. Detective Rydell passed away in September. Tomorrow night, the Police Museum will honor her at a special ceremony. In Denver tonight, Karen Morfitt covering Colorado First. Karen, thank you for that.